The patella, or kneecap, protects the knee joint and provides extra leverage for our leg muscles. The knee is made up of the femur, or thigh bone, the tibia, or leg bone, and the patella. The patella is part of the quadriceps tendon and patella ligament, which connects the tibia to the quadriceps. Many parts of the knee hold the patella in place as it moves. The tibia and femur fit into each other like a hinge, moving in a single plane of motion. The knee is also like a pulley with a belt. Proper alignment of the hinge keeps the belt in place. It is also kept in place by a deep groove in the wheels. In the same way, the patella sits in the intercondylar groove or patellar groove. Several ligaments also keep the knee stable including the lateral and medial patellofemoral ligaments, or LPFL and MPFL. Together, the bones, ligaments, and muscles all work together to keep the knee stable. Patellar instability is when the patella becomes partially dislocated, called a subluxation, or fully dislocated. Everyone's body is different, and the following factors may make a dislocation more likely. The patella ligament can be attached too far laterally, pulling the patella outwards. The knees can be too close together, or too far apart, pulling the patella to one side of the knee or the other. The patella groove may be too shallow, making it easier for the patella to be pushed out. It can sit too high, or too low, or sit at an angle that makes it prone to dislocation. A full dislocation is most often caused by blunt force to the knee, tearing the MPFL. Often, the cartilage of the femur and patella is damaged, with fragments of cartilage knocked loose into the knee joint. If left untreated, patellar instability can cause further damage over time, so starting treatment early is critical. To determine your level of injury, an exam may include an X-ray or MRI. For first-time dislocations with no injury to the cartilage, we start with a brief period of rest, avoiding all high-impact activities. After two to three weeks, physical therapy is started and a knee brace is worn during all high demand activities. Most patients are able to return to sports in six to eight weeks. However, some may need additional treatment and others may experience further dislocations after returning to sport. For repeated dislocations, surgery may be necessary. The goals are to replace the MPFL with a new ligament, stabilize the knee, and reduce the chance of future dislocations. First, a scope is placed into the knee to look for any damage and clean up any loose cartilage. Depending on your situation, the new ligament may be taken from your quadriceps tendon or from a donor. In either case, four incisions are made, one near the inward side of the patella, one near the base of the torn MPFL, one for the surgical instrument, and one for the camera. For donor ligaments, two holes are made in the patella, and the two ends of the new ligament are placed with special dissolving screws. Another hole is made in the femur to place the other end of the ligament. For ligaments that are taken from the quadriceps tendon, a thin strip of the quadriceps tendon is removed 
leaving one end anchored in the patella. The other end of the ligament is prepared, then folded over, and placed into a hole in the femur. Either procedure takes one to two hours. In patients that are still growing, we are careful to avoid the growth plates. If your knee joint has alignment issues or other factors affecting its stability, they can also be addressed during this procedure. Over time, your body will replace the dissolving screws of bone. Recovery time can be different for each person. Generally, most will be out of school for two to four days following surgery and return to sports in four to six months. Bracing and crutches usually last for three to six weeks, with physical therapy one to two days a week at first, then one visit every other week until you are back to sports. We will work with you to strengthen your knee, reduce recurrent dislocations, and get you back to sports as soon as possible. To learn more, call us at this number, click the link here, or check the description below.